So our first sculpture project we're going to be working on is a wire sculpture. And um, what we're thinking about with this wire sculpture is contour line. And so contour line is a line that describes an object's outer and inner shape, just line itself. And um, that's what it is in drawing. And we're going to be doing the same in sculpture, but with using wire. There's a couple of rules that you guys are going to be doing with this. First of all, the sculpture needs to be at least six inches tall in a direction. I don't care if you're measuring from here to here or, you know, from here to here or diagonally. It just has to be six inches. So no mini little tiny sculptures. Um, you need to have it to be able to describe your outer um, object shape and inner object shape. You also want to make sure that the wires are tucked in nicely. So like here's another fish example I have over here. This is a great fish. Um, but you'll probably notice that there's a bunch of pokey wires sticking out. So um, when you're working on your project, you want to make sure that those are tucked away nice and tightly. Like I'm going to take these needle nose pliers. I'm going to tuck it in clamp it down as much as I possibly can just so that it's not catching anyone's clothes or piercing skin and it just makes it look nice is basically what you need. Um, but anyway here's another cool student example of here of a hand and it's roughly six inches in, in any kind of direction. Um, other things that I'm looking for in this is um, just it needs to be hold together when you pick it up so like the fingers aren't falling off or anything like that it's pretty sturdy and stable and anyways um, but that's pretty much it uh, and just cleanliness also matters in this and I, I think this is totally fine with uh, cleanliness it you know it holds its shell shape everything is put in together nicely okay so um, to do this assignment, before you start, you need to have three, or sorry, five, five preliminary sketches of, of your project that you want to do, or, or of multiple ones. And um, anyways, uh, some examples I did in class is like if I want to do a teapot, I want you guys to sketch out what it is that you want it to look like and how those wires are going to be connecting together. So, for example, um, if I were to do a shoe, let's see, what kind of shoe should I do, like a sneaker or something, I need to think about what is the shape of the shoe, how are the wires going to connect in it, what am I going to do with this bottom part here, maybe I could have the wires connecting this way, um, how am I going to do the shoelaces, etc. And it's okay to, to go online, see what other artists have done. To get ideas of what you can do. Let's see, maybe I can use this for um, how the, the shoestring would get in there. Okay, so anyways, um, so you're drawing it out, figuring it out. My suggestion is do not choose long skinny objects like a pencil or a skateboard or a book, a snake, something like that. They're going to be a lot more complicated to do than you think. And um, so stick with something that is fairly bulky, like fruit is always good, animals, etc. Okay, so five preliminary sketches, you check those off. Um, and I just kind of have a discussion with you, like this will be a good project, uh, maybe steer clear from that one or something like that. Uh, if you are stuck at home and you do not have wire, um, I would just go to your regular Ace Hardware or um, Lowe's, Home Depot, something like that. Just get some multi-purpose wire that looks like this. Why I like this is because there's a lot of bending you can do on it. And um, I just cut segments out like this. Let me move this out of the way. And what I can do is start unwinding these like so. So now I have four times the wire instead of just one. And I like how it bends really easy, um, and, it, and it holds its bend, you know, it's fairly easy to manipulate. Um, if I want to try to straighten this out, what I can do is find a piece of metal. Don't do this on your desk, it will eat a hole. Um, but I, on the corner, let's see, I'm going to use the corner of this so I can demonstrate a little bit. You just rub it back and forth like so, again on metal. 
um, if I did this hard on the wood, it will eat a hole and it will straighten itself out. Um, and think about other things you could do with the wire. Like um, I can wrap it around pencils. Or other objects. Anyway. So I can get like fine coils, something like that. Or I can even like use my needle nose pliers. You'll also need some sort of pliers to help bend it and cut as you guys are working. But anyway, but lots of fun things you can do with wire. If you get frustrated with the project, it's okay. Um, that happens a lot with this. It can be really frustrating at times. The wire's not doing what you want it to do. Just um, don't tempt yourself of wanting to, to throw it across the room when you get frustrated with it. And it's okay if your design changes as you go along. Like, um, as you're going along, you might say, hey, this is not working out. I need to come up with a different plan. And that's part of the creative process is changing, evolving, growing of sometimes things just don't go as planned or a better idea comes along as you go. And so, all right. So I'll just leave it to you guys. Remember to turn in your sketches and um, that is it. And how, how it's graded, of course, is always in your book as well with the grade sheet of what I'm looking for. All right.